What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Uh, we've got lots to discuss today, lots to show you today, um, our rewards to open, our brand new team and then um, some uh, rivals gameplay. I'm going to play a live game today I think. So I bought and then sold Rodri. Of course I was saving Aurier, I, I sold him uh, because I needed the coins, I'll show you why. I sold Fabinho to replace him with Rodri, who I've since replaced as well. Uh, I sold Felipe Anderson. I sold Kai Havertz because I needed the coins. Um, I sold Pepe. Uh, you'll see why again in a second. I uh, sold a few of the other players I just had. And then lots of bronze packs and some chem styles and stuff like that uh, that we shifted on and got rid of uh, here, there and everywhere. Some of the managers sell, of course, all the stadium sell. A few things haven't sold yet. We don't have much left on the trade pile. Still a few anchor chem styles and a few bronze items. And that leaves me with just 10,000 coins. So what did I do with everything? Why did I sell those players? Well, this is the team that I've built. We've still got a few upgrades to go uh, in the very short term. But I'm struggling in rivals right now. Um, I'm not struggling in draft, hilariously. I'm absolutely dominating draft, but I am struggling in rivals. Um, and uh, although I am seeing from every pro, you know, e even Kurt, who was very um, kind about this game during the beta and during his early videos, he's putting out tweets about how the delay is unacceptable and the gameplay is just not good enough and this game is, isn't up to scratch. And, and you know, it when pros and content creators and consumers alike all have a, a general feeling it, there's typically something going on um so delay no delay whatever it is unresponsiveness i'm just not enjoying myself with the teams that i had so i built this team for a few reasons number one i felt like i needed to improve my back line a lot i was already using samedu ter stegen have also got a game disparity so i played 32 games with him titty already um i think i've probably played over 10 games with koulibaly already to be fair as well yeah 10 games so um with who i had there before pepe Telez, and bruno fernandez i still feel like it's a better setup i actually feel like um pepe Telez and Bruno Fernandes as a trio is better than what I have there now. But as individual cards, Koulibaly is just such a monster. Medium high, 6'2", blisteringly fast pace for a centre-back with absolutely exceptional defensive capabilities and great physicals, great reactions and composure. I needed a great back line. Now, Mario Rui is definitely one that I need to upgrade on. Um, what I'm going to do eventually is get Alexandro in there and play uh, Koulibaly on 8 chemistry until I can think of something better. But I need the coins for Alexandro. So hopefully today through rewards. Uh, and then I wanted to go and get Alan. I, I didn't like Fabinho, so I got Rodri. And I very quickly figured out that Rodri was too slow. Uh, he was decent. But when you're playing against people that just have nothing but pace in their team, you just you, it doesn't matter about the qualities of the defending and the, the physicals and stuff like that. And unless you're offline or against somebody that doesn't un understand how to abuse pace. So whilst Vidal is not the fastest, uh, I've got a shadow on him. Whereas for Fabinho and Rodri, I had powerhouse on them. I didn't really boost the uh, the pace. But he goes up to 83 acceleration and 77 sprint speed, which is reasonable enough. Along with exemplary defending stats, brilliant physical and just a well-rounded card in general. And then I also went for Allen, who now, of course, goes up to 94 acceleration and 81 sprint speed with, again, brilliant defensive stats, brilliant physical stats, great dribbling, great passing. Not the best at finishing, but he doesn't really shoot for us. Um, and then I've got my, my own pace merchant. So we put Cali on back into the starting lineup. Uh, we've got Douglas Costa, obviously, untradeable for us in our starting lineup. I went and bought uh, Alex Lacazette for 118,000, eight goals and two assists in his 10 games. And uh, I replaced Pepe with one to watch Pepe. Uh, and in the 10 games since I've had um, Koulibaly, uh, Allen, Vidal, etc., I've only lost, I think, one rivals game. Uh, I have drawn three or four and then I've won the rest. I might have lost two. And then on the bench, I've got Inaki Williams as another pace merchant. Goretzka is a great box-to-box uh, -box midfielder to replace Vidal. Uh, if the pace is killing me too much. And then Puki is a, a good secondary striker to come on up front. So I've basically gone for what everyone else has gone for. And that's just pace. Pace on Caleon, Pace on Costa. The Hunter Chem style on Lacazette for that pace. And the Hunter on Pepe for that pace as well. I've got Nelson Semedu who I need to apply a new Chem style to. I want to put an anchor on him to give him a pace boost as well. We've got Shadows in there. Uh, and Anchors in there. And, and I've basically gone for nothing but pace. 
It's not to say as well right now that I don't have um, cards that have value either. I've still got a lot of cards that have value. We've got a lot of uh, informs still. So three informs there, uh, one ones to watch and a couple more informs. And then we've got Cruz, Fernandez, Berkey, ZH. These are all tradable, of course. Load of 84s and a load of 83s tradable that I'll just get rid of at the right time. You know, there's no point in me to get rid of these now. I could get rid of these now and um, improve my score because what I want to do is I want to put Leroy Sané at left wing instead of Douglas Costa. I'm then going to move Allen back to that left centre midfield spot, get rid of Calleon and um, Calleon's going to be replaced by a Man City midfielder or just any Man City player that will give Sané full chem and then there will be a sub on. Um, so I want to sub somebody on in that next wing role. So I want somebody on the bench that, again, has just got high pace. I'm thinking someone like Gareth Bale. Uh, so I wouldn't mind getting Leroy Sané, Gareth Bale, and uh, Alexandro as my next three upgrades. And then after that, I want to go back into the Premier League on this right-hand side. I want to get João Cancelo, uh, uh, Virgil van Dijk, Alisson, and then the final midfielder would just probably be someone like Kante. So we've got, obviously, that I'm talking like long term there. We're talking over the next two to four weeks. I'm going to upgrade to that team. But that's where our team is right now. That's the plan for the future with the team. Um, and then I don't know if I got rank one in rivals. I was, I had a good amount of, uh, I think I did get rank one in rivals. I had a good amount of points. But because EA aren't showing you what was there, you don't know. So I did finish rank one, fortunately. I am now in Division 4, so we get 200 qualification points, which I don't need. I'm already qualified. A mega pack, a 50k pack, and two uh, jumbo premium gold packs. So, yeah, I, as I say, I... I um, where are we? I'm in Division 4 now for rewards. So, next week, we're going to get... Or, like, yeah, next Thursday, a mega pack, a rare players pack, and a prime gold players pack. Is it even that much better? I don't know. And I took tradable as well. Because if I can get any of those low-rated cards, again, that have good value, Zahars and Edem Militao's and cards like that, brilliant. I don't want those untradeable because they're going to become just completely useless over time. Um, I am pushing up towards Division 3 as well. But as I say, I'm, I am struggling in Rivals right now. Funnily enough, Draft is, is a, a, a pleasure to play in. But here we go with our rewards, guys. And then we're going to get into what, a live game of Rivals for you so you can see exactly how I'm playing. Is that not even a... Jesus Christ, it's not even a rare gold. I have a 15k pack. Um, yeah, there's nothing good in here. We can get rid of that. We've got a whole bunch of contracts and stuff that I'm going to have to start getting rid of in due course. A couple of good uh, position modifiers. Um, let's get rid of the stadium there for 400. Striker to centre forward should be uh, quite a good one. So it's quite cheap at the moment. And then a cam to centre mid. That's got good uh, good value to it. So I can sell that on, as I say, if I need to. If I get If I hit something big... And then we can work towards some of those other players. Happy days. If not, no problem at all. That is a board or a walkout, is it not? No, it's not. It's the golden trim. It just throws me off. Let's see what we get in our second uh, 15k pack. Madison, Carvalho, Mendy, but the wrong Mendy. Uh, and again, not a lot of uh, real great stuff in there. And then Alwar as well. Those we don't need. How much is Alwar selling for? Not a lot. I'm going to hold on to him. as an 81 rated for discard price. I'm just going to hang on to him for the time being. We then get a mega pack, guys. Is it going to actually be a mega pack for us? Can we get our first board or walkout? Yes, we can. So uh, we do get a board or a walkout. It's a board only. Is it going to be a good board? No, it's not. I don't think there's any good Spanish. Uh, it's Casillas. God damn. If there could be uh, like a good 83 or 82 in here as well, please. There's not. Vasquez, under 1,000 coins. Charisma, under a thousand coins by looks of things. Maximum fifteen hundred. Giovinco, not worth anything. That's tough, man. Oh, I don't want to get rid of the contracts. Um, that is tough. That is really tough. Uh, some more position modifiers, and then some more crap. So our our rivals' rewards thus far have not been great. One board, but it was an eighty-three. Here's our rare players pack. EA, please hook us up. Don't hook us down. It's a board or a walkout. It's an inform walkout. Let's go. Colombian. Striker. I don't know who it is. Oh, Zapata. Let's go. I don't know if he's worth that much, actually. I know he's uh, he was good last year. There could still be some other good cards in here as well. Let's have a look at uh, Zapata's price. 14k. Uh. Come on. Have something else in here. Have something else in here. Come on, EA. Oh, Hummels. Yes, that's nice. 
I saw the 87 uh, German Dortmund and I thought Royce for a half a second there, but no. We get Zapata, we get Hummels. That's not too bad. I don't think Hummels is worth all that much either, sadly. Um, 16k. Silesen Bergwin, uh, who's not a bad card, to be fair. Uh, does does he have good value? No, 1k. Jesus. Four-star skin was two-star weak foot. Let's him down a little bit. Um, that's, I mean, that, that's not bad. It's not good. We, you know, it would definitely made more than the coins that I could have taken, um, which is always a, a nice, a nice win there. But yeah, Zapata only 15k, Hummel's 15k. I probably made about 50 to 70k, depending on how, when, and wh how well I sell the items that I packed. 50 to 70k is definitely enough to upgrade my squad. As I said, I think like Alexandro is currently selling at 100k he's gone up a lot jesus <coughs> so rewards have had that same impact as they typically do of just boosting the price of people um and uh yeah now's now's a selling time that's for sure so i'm not gonna sell anything on right now i'm gonna keep this team i would be happy to use this team in my first weekend league i don't know what to expect from weekend league I honestly feel like sometimes I play a game and I feel like, okay, I'm, I'm good for elite. And sometimes I play a game and I feel like, okay, I might not even hit gold three. It's it's that much of a disparity. But that, guys, is uh, is the squad. Let me show you the tactics that I'm using right now. I'm actually using a 4-4-1-1 um, and I have a 4-2-3-1 defensive as per uh, Japes messaged me and he, he just gave me a, a few tips on some of the stuff that's been working for him. So this is what our team looks like. Calleon and Douglas Costa as our wide men. Alan and Vidal as our centre mids. Pepe and Lacazette up front and then the back line the same. And then when we do make subs, um, it's usually Calleon off, Pepe out wide, Puki into that cam roll. Goretzka on for Vidal and then uh, Inaki Williams on for Douglas Costa just to give some more pace because uh, like Costa... Uh, I think specifically, not necessarily Calleon. Calleon has pretty good stamina, but Costa specifically doesn't have the greatest stamina at 71, so he's always quite tired. Uh, and then Pepe, he does, he has good stamina in the camera roll, so he's always got a lot left at the end of the game. And I don't want, I would, I would rather take Calleon off than Pepe, which is why I make those subs. So that, guys, is my squad. Let's go and get into a game. All right, guys, here we go into the game. Our opponent's got a 4 3 2 1 team, a really nice team as well, actually. Some of the players that I've got myself, he's got Naki Williams, he's got Arturo Vidal, uh, Leon Goretzka. Uh, his back line's good, not great. Uh, I feel like uh, like Kanji is fine and Roussillon is fine. Uh, his other centre-back I would probably work on improving personally. But what you guys are going to see here today through this live game, probably me getting frustrated. I haven't, I, like, I get frustrated at FIFA like anyone, right? But FIFA 20 has taken me back to my FIFA 17 days, man. FIFA 20 has taken me back to a level where I, like, and, and it's not necessarily because of losing or winning it, it's literally just because of the state of the game because of the delay because of the uh, unresponsiveness it makes it sometimes infuriating in in the same fashion as you know when i like let's try and oh, that, that's a good chance for him when i try and like g consider it towards uh something like fortnite or something right imagine in fortnite you press shoot and then a half a second to a second later the gun actually shoots that's the feeling you get sometimes with fifa because you'll press a button and it won't even register it sometimes. And, and that's even half the problem too. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys a live game. Just, just, just because, just because you guys can then see for yourselves how sometimes, you know, you might be thinking even yourself that you're going crazy. And sometimes, uh, sometimes it is me, you know, again, I, I don't want to sit here and say like, like right there, n did a skill move, didn't even register, just didn't even register the, the click of my thumbstick. Um, but I have found, I'm finding like my way with FIFA. I am struggling a little bit to get into the game. It's taking me like four or five games to get used to um, FIFA 20 style. And so that's always a nightmare. And, and it might be worth me playing just some uh, online friendlies in classic match or against some viewers or something first uh, until I can get back into the swing of it. Because I'm still trying to shake the cobwebs of FIFA 19 um, and the way FIFA 19 played. To, to be in with FIFA 20, right? So, um, yeah, it would, it would probably do well. And this is my first game of the day as well. So if I uh, if I play ex especially bad, I apologise. Uh, but we're in a good spot here with Calion. We've got the cut across. Oh, it's not quite there. One of the areas that I struggle on a lot, other than being defensively uh, inept, is um, cut cutbacks, man. Uh, like, I know cutbacks are strong. I concede, I'd say most of the goals that I concede are from cutbacks. When I get into the area on the field where a cutback is going to be super relevant, 
like there, like I just did. I, I haven't figured out the most efficient way to, to continually get the, um, the, the ball across to the player, which, uh, which really sucks. Um, I baited him again there. That's going to be my ball. No foul. Douglas Costa, straight at the keeper. And that, again, was a, another, another skill move that wasn't registered. Oh, it's just too easy for this guy there. Another skill move there with Douglas Costa that didn't register in the box. Um, and it, it seems like the problems are there for, to, to be seen again. And as I say, I know sometimes it's it's me just doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Sometimes I'm biting too hard with my back line. Sometimes I'm making the wrong pass choice. I, that's my, my foul. Thank you. I, I completely can take on board and, and take into consideration the occasions where it's me. Uh, the, the, the grand frustrations come from when it's the game. Uh, that is a phenomenal pass up to Costa. He's pulling his keeper as well. Interesting. And that's why. His key oh, can we get the ball in? Can we get a head on? Yes, we can. The header's just terrible. It's pointless. I think, you know how shooting's like stuck on manual for some people sometimes? I think heading is constantly on manual. I, d I don't know if it's by design, if it's by accident. I don't know if it's just placebo effect. I, I don't know if it's confirmation bias or what. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it seems to be, that's great defending. Um, it seems to be that heading is just a nightmare to deal with all of the time. Oh, we've got a lovely through ball on there. This has got to be a goal for me here. Pepe. No, oh, is that pen? A yellow card for me? What do you mean? I have the ball. Oh, should have, that's again my, my, my bad for not, not taking the uh, goal scoring opportunities where I should have done. Oh, that's good play. He's, he's pulled my uh, my defender out and it's going to be a great goal scoring opportunity. I pulled my keeper. Very nicely done as well. It's actually worked very well for me. Oh, I should have uh, I should have played the other through ball through there as well. When, uh... damn, he's waiting for that. That again is my bad. That's great defending. Just kidding. Oh, I've bit, I've bit. I, I, I do that too much. It won't give me uh He's going to score the rebound. No, he's missed it. Jesus, he could have taken a touch. He had so much time. When I panic in this game, I switch into my defenders and run them out of position. And if people run their defenders out of position in FIFA 20, rest assured, you're going to, you're going to get punished. It is not a good look at all. all right. Fortunately, we've got this uh, overpowered goal kick down the line that still works. An absolute treat. <clears throat> we've got the far post there for Costa. I'm going to try and head it back across goal. But of course, Costa's not going to win that header anyway. So um, that's where I need, you know, when I'm talking about wanting Sané and Bale in my team, that's that's more to the reason why. Uh, Sané is nice and tall at six foot, obviously. Um, Gareth Bale, tall, strong, has all of the capabilities that you want um, in in your team, really. Here we go, Lacazette. Lacazette spins, shoots. How's he missed? Oh, that was nice play. We finally carved open a really good chance there. 36 minutes in. I definitely feel like I've been controlling the game a little bit, but as, as per usual, I'm susceptible to the counters. Um, we've just got to make sure we stay focused. He's reading my cutbacks extremely well every single time, and it's very frustrating. I need to do... See what he did there? A little ball roll and then a turn. He's got the through ball on there as well. That's great read. That's good defending. Um... See, I don't like I don't like the goalkeeper. I don't, I don't like having the ball at the goalkeeper's hands. See what we can do here. Again, I don't really want to uh, give up too easy possession in the midfield. Some good passing. Just got to be a bit quicker. Let's get it around the outside. That's a lovely play on the inside. We've got Allen through. There we go. We've got the runner on. It's going to go to Lacazette. Oh, see, and again, not not registering. I hit with the uh, the new skill move there, this one, and it just didn't register. That time it registered, of course, because the defender's there to tackle me. <clears throat> we close to half time. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm likely going to concede here, then, aren't I? Nope. Oh, I could score though. Got a good counter opportunity. He's pressed up as well. Got Douglas Costa clean through. He's squeezing through the middle there. No, he's not, and that's going to be half time, I'm sure. So good half. I've had like three or four good opportunities and I just can't quite take them. I've dominated possession. I've dominated passing. I've created a couple more, well, one more chance, one more on target. I'm just struggling to get that, um, just to get that, 
quality, quality chance. That one that's going to really just be a guarantee. And I thought I had it with Lacazette. Once I cut inside with Lacazette there, I thought we had um, we we had, we'd hit the jackpot with that, but sadly not. Is that a foul? It is a foul, but computer says no. We get the uh, the advantage to play on. Callion's clean through there. It's a good ball, but Rusi Long. You see the way Rusi Long was like tracking back there. Oh, Callion, is he going to get the rebound? Yes, he is, but not a second one. That ball roll and then cut inside does me so many times. What a challenge that is. That could have been easily a yellow card there if I didn't get that right. Here is Lacazette. <sighs> That's just my bad for passing like that again. There's just no need. This guy's um, he's covering the lines and not the man. And it just gives me a little bit of time to just run with the man. Just like that, into the space. And then we can pass. And again, he's covering the lines, not the man. And I'm still passing it to him. That's lovely play, though. See that? That's the delay I'm talking about. Right there. Right there. Pepe is clean through. And I think by time Lacazette actually passed the ball, I think Pepe would have been offside. Uh, that's how long it took uh, him to register it. And then this guy's going to get just nice, easy cut back. I should be there defensively. Mario Rui is not there. And and it, this, this is what has been genuinely like triggering me beyond belief in this game. Because on one end of the field, the unresponsiveness of a pass causes me to lose possession, which then results in a counter-attack and a goal. And it happens It happens for me as well. Uh, you know, I'm not saying it's, it's a one-way thing. It's just, it is just infuriating. I've definitely still have to take responsibility in, in some regards with how I'm passing the ball, right? I get that. I'm still passing the ball into the, the marking spots that this guy's pulling off, right? He, he's getting into spaces where he's just marking me well. And all I'm doing is uh, passing. And I'm still doing that. I'm still cutting back. He's waiting for that cutback every single time. Um, and uh, I still keep doing it. So I've got to, got to improve in those areas, right? <laughs> but when it comes down to the game just delaying constantly, how, how can you improve on that? How, like, I don't know how to get better with dealing with stuff like that i've read that well that's a great save he probably deserved the goal off of that to be fair that's nice from coolie bally we finally got a bit of space here and here goes pepe and he has broken fruit lovely goal that is beautiful play from pepe the ball roll around the keeper works really well this year by the way guys I waited for him. I was hoping to just actually run it in. I didn't want to screw that up. Fortunately enough, uh, he, he went for a slide with his centre back instead of just standing up strong and holding like contain, uh, which gave me a little bit of a, a little bit of luxury um, to, to find, uh, find a bit more space, which was nice. We could be in behind again here. Oh, Douglas Costa just didn't, didn't take the ball very well there. We have got some space with Costa, mind you. And then a lovely through ball again to Pepe. Pepe, oh, Lacazette, he's going to get that ball back. Lacazette into the space. Oh, man, and again, I've just done the wrong thing there a little bit. All I have to do there... Oh. Go and push it out, yes. Go and keep it, lad. That's going to go out for a corner, I think, but I don't mind. When people are sprinting in behind like that, pulling the keeper out after their first heavy touch, because then it's too late for them to, to recognise what you've done, really. Uh, that's always nice. Manual defending OP again. There we go. We've got some space here. How, man? How is that pass not going just perfectly into the angle? That's lovely defending again from Umtiti. That should be keeper's ball. There we go. And we've got some space down the right-hand side here. 72nd minute. If the ball goes out of play again, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to, uh, going to make my subs. This guy's actually starting to put on a bit more pressure as well. Lovely defending. Again, Kuli... Oh, my God. Thank God for that. Koulibaly has been an absolute machine for me. He's been very, very good. Well, that's it going out of play. 4-3-3 is way better for those goal kick punts up the field. When you've got a left mid and a right mid, they don't get up the field like far enough at all. And it, it creates for a little bit of a little bit of issues um, with the goalkeeper punt. The goal kick's absolutely fine, you know, down to the left mid, right mid from the right back. Might be worth even when you've seen the goalkeeper's arm, arm, uh, arms just throwing it to your right back or your left back and then doing the chip through ball just to create some uh, easy, op easy opportunities. Um, but 1-1 one, one so far. wouldn't say it's an unfair scoreline. Uh, this guy's created a couple of decent opportunities. Oh, I 
Again, I'm standing there. He's going to get a free kick for that, isn't he? Even though I've not really like done anything. That's a lovely play. <clears throat> and then he's through. Allen's kept his run going. No! I thought I baited him. And I did, but then I also didn't at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, I'm in trouble here. That's nice defending. It could easily have been a red card there, but I got away with it very nicely. And there's that chip through ball. Am I going to get that with Pepe? I'm not, but I get the throw in. I feel like the uh, the through balls down the line may well be a very, very, very successful uh, method of attack. The chip through balls down the line, of course. We've got a Naki Williams down that far side here. Oh, come on. Oh. And that's, again, me just not doing the right thing in, in, in a good attacking uh, opportunity. Getting to the byline one more time and then just not having anything to do with it. I've got to stop biting. When people ball roll, I'm all over the place. That's great defending again. We've got seven in-game minutes. We've got some time. And Pookie is clean through here. And that's got to be a goal. <sighs> how have I not scored that? Like, honestly, how... Oh, auto-switching, even though it's on uh, air balls and loose balls only. And this, th These, again, become the issues in this game that just drive me absolutely bonkers. I've got Pookie clean through. It's just a simple pass to... I don't know if that was Pepe or Lacazette or whoever was running forwards, but it's a simple, simple pass. And guess what happens? The pass goes wayward. Like, oh my God, I put so much power on that EA. What are you doing to me? The pass just goes so far wayward... That you can't even you can't even believe it. Go on, Pepe. All right, we've got one more chance here. We've got one more chance here. Pookie's man. Even in even in the games where it's like it's not that bad, it's still that bad. That's going to be a one-one draw, guys, which is sad. I feel like I should have won that one. I created a couple of really good opportunities, especially that last chance there, man. I get through Pookie, pulls his keeper. I just a pass right. And it goes so far wide of the player for a guy who has 90... Pookie has 90 short passing and 90 vision. That should not be a pass that he misses. But he does. That that really should have been me going 2-1 uh, going up and taking the win there. But not a bad game. But you can see the frustrations with the gameplay that I'm having. And some of it, as I say, some of it is my my choices. The choices that I make with defending, the choices that I make with attacking is, is me. But the goal I conceded, for example... I actually gained some elo there, <coughs> which is nice. <clears throat> the goal that I conceded, for example, came off of uh, in, like unresponsiveness or input delay up front. He counters, he scores, and you just you can't you you can't counter that. You can't account for that when trying to improve at the game. So I'm in a bit of a weird spot right now where I don't know. <coughs> excuse me again. I don't know how good. I'm going to do in weekend league because I don't even know the level of players that I'm losing to. I'm only in division four. I don't know if that's gold two standard, silver one standard or elite three standard this year. There's only one way to find out and that's to play it. And tomorrow's video will be our first ever foot champs live game with probably this team, unless something dramatic happens over the next sort of like 24 hours, it'll probably be with this team. But that guys is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate and comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now guys, I'm out. Peace.